So anybody who's, you know, watched or seen a couple of my channels that have been removed, you know, or followed me on any of those or this one knows I'm not a big fan of unions. Um, it's sort of a personal thing uh, just because of my experience with uh, Illinois Nurses Association, with it, which is tied to American Nurses Association. Them just not being able to do the right thing and I'm in a profession that's supposed to be about doing the right thing. It just left a bad taste in my mouth, all of it. Okay, so... Um, I'm, I think that they're they're very much used. The union, the top of the unions don't realize the union members don't realize that the top is often in bed with your very employer, because well, in the case of nursing, they 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 really serve the globalists, both your employer and the top of your unions. So National Nurses United came out and supported Kamala. Mm -hmm. That's the union. Now, American Nurses on the American Nurses Association, on the other hand, back in 2020, they removed their uh, it, their where they endorse anybody, and so a ton of their Democratic nurses were pissed off, and they were also uh, some of their members were pissed off that uh, American Nurses Association wasn't calling out Donald Trump for his mean tweets. Like, if you're a nurse. And you're carrying on like that I don't you know what like do some inner reflecting I'm just saying this as a psych nurse like go do some inner reflecting and stop all your your pompous shit because some of the stuff I see from some of these far left nurses is this crap about racism because they've been pulled into this DEI crap okay you're part of the division you're being you're part of the divider when you post things that most Republicans are white so they're racist then it shows you're the racist you're not the person helping anybody you're the problem so please go do some inner reflecting at yourself then maybe you know you can you know think better um, however, the uh, Teamsters, you know, I just posted a short video about uh, Sean O'Brien, um, and I guess he spoke at the uh, Republican National Convention. I, I didn't watch the Republican National Convention. As soon as I saw the Catholic priest start the convention, I, I, I had to turn it off. It makes me too mad because of the abuse to children, what I've seen Catholic charities, how they treat the kids. I just do so many videos about that. So I couldn't, I couldn't, I thought I can't stomach it. I, I left so many posts all over, um, I, I, all over the uh, GOP's uh, page about what, how disgraceful, how, what hypocrites you are, what hypocrites you are. I, that, that shit I can't stand, I can't. I don't, I don't care, I don't care how much somebody's loved. I don't care if you're gonna, if you're, I just, I don't care. You better be about doing something about fixing the problem we have in this country. And highlighting a Catholic priest at the RNC was just not a good look. My opinion, not a good look. So, but uh, Sean O'Brien had spoke there and um, he said, I'm a Democrat, but they fucked us over for the last 40 years, O'Brien said during a sit down with Theo Vaughn uh, for the comedians this past weekend podcast. And for once, and not all, but for once, we're standing up as a union, probably the only one right now, saying, what the fuck have you done to us? O'Brien acknowledged uh, he is being attacked from the left over the decision, but he told Vaughn that in two and a half years, he has been president of the Teamsters. The union has given the Democrat machine for $15.7 million and only given 340000 to the GOP. So it's like, you know, people say the Democrat Party is the party of the working people. They're bought and paid for by big tech, the union boss said. And you've got the Republicans who are now saying, hey, we want to be the working class party, right? And okay, you've got a, you've got a great opportunity right now to do that. O'Brien told Vaughn, what, what, if you don't, like, I just, you have a great opportunity to do that, okay. You know, see, here's my thing, <laughs> is that, the, the what people don't understand about the union stuff is that it's both it's being, both sides are playing against you. They are like I had somebody. It, it, there were nurses uh, where I worked that were talking like a couple weeks ago about we should just go on strike and or we're, no they said we should just form a union. I said no no don't no no don't do that, <laughs> don't because as soon as you do it, 
You'll get, you know, National Nurses Union. You'll, you'll get somebody that's in the union world nursing that will come in and they will direct you. I don't think if the nurses understood what I was saying. <laughs> because you have to really understand the game, the game that's being played here. So um, when it comes to a union. So I'm like, just look, look, just, just you know, you can form your own union. You can all strike at the same time. And so they were like, yeah, maybe we should just do all, we could just do that. We'll just all, we'll just all call in at the same, you know, for the same time, at the same, on the same day. And we'll just, there'll be nobody. Then, then the uppers have to, and, and I'm like, yeah, just don't go and try to, for, don't do that. Because the people that you're fighting against will come in and say they're about your cause. And they'll they'll post a bunch of stuff about how they're rallying for you know nurse uh, uh, nursing staffing ratios and all of this, but behind closed doors, the employer and them have the same goal, which is we want globalist control. So uh, that's why it's like you know it, it, I'm not trying to say I'm against the Teamster. I'm just I'm not a fan of the unions. There, I think that at the heart of this, it, it's really simple. Okay, your employers treat you like shit, so either you'll tolerate it, okay, or you'll run and get into a union. In, which in either case, either way, it serves them because they'll the, the those people at the top of your union are bought and paid for by globalists. I Sean O'Brien, I mean, maybe he's not. I just, when, when you have the Teamsters start saying stuff like that, like, well, here's your chance, Republican Party. It's like, you don't even understand the full extent to what the unions have pulled in this country. I get, I'm not talking about the members, but the members have been hoodwinked and used as useful idiots, no matter what union it is. And here's why. So American, so a National Nurses United came out and endorsed Kamala, but American Nurses Association in 2020 said, we're not gonna endorse anybody anymore because they had half of their nurses that support Donald Trump. But then the other half that are liberal Democrats, the ones they say that really need to do some reflecting, um, that support, uh, you know, just support anybody as long as they don't have an R after their name. Um, the thing is, what what American Nurses Association is doing is they have to make sure that they still have the power. So they don't want to pick a... Well, they don't want to pick a side, first of all, because they'll lose half of their members, okay? Um, and they have lost some members. In my opinion, the members they have lost, with the comments they make, it's like, well, they're just not good nurses anyway, but... I'm, I'm not in support of American Nurses Association. As, as I've said, they block me on Twitter. Um, so they shouldn't set the standard of care because you should never be allowed to block a nurse if you're setting the standard of care in this country. Anyway, um, however, the game they're playing is because they're like, whoa, which way is, what's it going to Because they were worried in 2020 if Trump gets in, we may not get as much power to have any say in anything. You see what I'm saying? So they, they're playing both sides of the fence by not endorsing. I mean, that's part of it. And then part of it is because they don't want to lose some of their members. But the Democrat Party has been, this idea that they're the party of working class is bullshit. They are not. They are not. But unions aren't. I understand why, why employees form unions. I get it. I work in a place where I'm treated like a slave. Okay, it's slave labor. Nursing didn't used to be this way. It didn't. Um... You know, uh, it's bad. It's it's really bad. And P and the problem is, is people just uh, go along with the bad, which is what. That's why it's a win for the employer either way, because you'll either tolerate whatever you know, just however bad they want to treat you, um, or you'll unite as as a as a bunch of employees and you'll go and you'll bring a union, somebody who's an expert in unions in, and they're going to say we're going to fight your cause and. Yeah, and really at the end of the day, all of the unions, I mean, maybe some, I think some of them are waking up, right? But um, they should wake up a little bit more, their leaders, because you're, the, you're, there's a lot of things that could have been fixed long ago if you hadn't kept voting for the Democrats to begin with.